First of all, let's remember, second inning of that game last night, there was no score and there were two outs. The Diamondbacks are an out away from getting out of this. But check out Josh Young, Rangers rookie. Coach's kid, that's a daring lead. I had a good vantage point to see this. Maybe I'm making too much of it, but Young is messing with Miguel Castro. A lead that is daring him to do something. Castro's next pitch is in the dirt. I never understood the polite, stagnant lead taken by most players. They're your opponents. Mess with them. Young messed with them. He ended up scoring. Now from there, inning's not over. Castro walks the eight hitter, gives up a hit to the nine hitter, Travis Jankowski. He's allowing bases to the Rangers who are known for their defense. That's not good. And then after all that, Marcus Simeon does punish Arizona with a triple down the line. Arizona was an out away from no damage, but piece by piece they came apart. Now, Marcus Simeon coming up with an extra base hit is the most expected part of that inning. Simeon's an excellent hitter. I know he's been cold, he's excellent. But that other damage, low probability and partly self-inflicted. Now, here's the decision. I loathe intentional walks. It's bad strategy on the by and large. But Corey Seager has already won two games in this series. He slugged over 600 for a full season, 649 for the postseason. Yeah, first and second open, two outs, and now Noah Dolis Garcia backing him up. Walking him does not sound like a bad idea. With Castro on, a righty, you have a righty righty matchup coming up right after that. Mitch Garver on deck, and even at his best, I think you should take your chances there. Seager then, of course, does get up. They pitch to Seager. He launches a rocket to center field. He almost ruined dinner for a bunch of people out there on the patio. It's 5 0, and it feels over. If it's not over, it kind of feels over. Here are Seager's on base and slugging in the regular season. 390, 623. That's a massive slugging percentage. 170 OPS plus. His postseason numbers are even better. Mitch Garver is a good hitter. He's at 37500. That's a 134 OPS plus. 100 is league average. He's 34% better. That's good, but it's not Seager. And his numbers in the postseason are lower. He's not doing as much damage. An intentional walk is generally more damaging than you think, but Seager's numbers in the series warrant avoidance with men on base and a base open. No one asked my advice, that's my advice. Here's Tori Lovello on this subject just moments ago.